for all the sins against Holy Mother Church and against our brothers and sisters throughout the world, that we may gain any indulgences offered by Holy Mother Church. Prayers before the Rosary, Fatima prayers. Let us say the Fatima prayers together. My God, I believe, I adore, I hope, and I love you. I ask pardon of you for those who do not believe, do not adore, do not hope, and do not love you. Most Holy Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, I adore you profoundly. I offer you the most precious body, blood, soul, and divinity of Jesus Christ, present in all the tabernacles throughout the world, in reparation for the outrages, sacrileges, and indifference by which he is offended. And through the infinite merits of his most sacred heart and of the immaculate heart of Mary, I beg the conversion of poor sinners. O oh, most holy Trinity, I adore you. My God, my God, I love you in the most blessed sacrament. O oh, Jesus, this is for love of you, for the conversion of sinners, for the Holy Father, and in reparation for the sins committed against the Immaculate Heart of Mary. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Sweet heart of Mary, be my salvation. Act of consecration to the sacred heart of Jesus through the immaculate heart of Mary. Heavenly Father, you so loved us that you sent your only begotten Son, who emptied himself taking the form of a slave in the womb of the Blessed Virgin Mary, by the power of the Holy Spirit, for our salvation. Grant that as Jesus made a total gift of himself in his sacrifice on the cross, we may make a total return of ourselves to you through the sacred heart of your Son and with the intention of the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Loving Jesus, grant that we may renew our personal consecration to you this day, a consecration that begins with our baptism. By the same baptism, we acknowledge that we are totally yours and all that we have is yours. Help us, loving Savior, to renew our baptismal promises to reject Satan, to reject sin, and to profess the Catholic faith no matter what the cost. May we serve you by our baptismal anointing as priest, prophet, and king through the intercession of the maternal heart of your mother. You have given her to us as our own that we may offer to you a perfect and immaculate heart. Loving mother, we entrust to your immaculate heart our entire being, body, and soul and all that we have, internal and external. Through your maternal mediation and by the grace of the Holy Spirit, join us to the heart of your Son so that through him we may come to the Father. Loving Jesus and Mary, grant that we may also fulfill your request for the first Saturdays. In this way, we hope, by the grace of the Holy Spirit, to obtain world peace and the salvation of souls, including our own. Amen. Act of reparation to Jesus through the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Most Holy Virgin Mother, we listen with grief to the pleas of your child concerning your Immaculate Heart, surrounded with the thorns placed therein at every moment by the blasphemies and ingratitude of humanity. We are moved by the ardent desire of loving you as our mother and of promoting a true devotion to your immaculate heart, especially by these communions of reparation. 
We therefore kneel before you to manifest the sorrow we experience for the grievances that we cause you and to atone by our prayers and sacrifices for the offenses which have pierced your heart and the heart of your son. Obtain for all of us the pardon of so many sins. Hasten the conversion of us sinners that we may love Jesus and cease to offend the Lord who is already so much offended. Turn your eyes of mercy toward us that we may love God with all our hearts on earth and enjoy him forever in heaven. Amen. Prayer to St. Joseph. Hail Joseph, shadow of the Father, guardian of the Redeemer and protector of the way that leads to and through the Immaculate Heart of Mary, your true spouse. Please ask the Father to give us efficacious graces through the heart of Jesus and by the Holy Spirit. Obtain by the intercession of the heart of Mary that we may faithfully fulfill Jesus and Mary's requests. Please present our offerings for the sins which have offended her and her son. Inspire us to fulfill and spread the first Saturdays everywhere so that many souls will be rescued from sin and be brought to eternal life. Grant also, as you bless the world at Fatima with the child Jesus, the Lamb of God, you bless us and help us to build and maintain the civilization of love and peace, which Our Lady has promised as the victory of her Immaculate Heart. For you are the faithful and wise servant whom his master has set over his household to give them their food at the proper time. He set you over all his possessions. Thus, we too wish to be entrusted entirely to your care as members of your household for the honor and glory of the hearts of Jesus and Mary. Amen. Invocations of the Patrons of the Communal First Saturdays. St. Michael, the Archangel, pray for us. St. Mary Magdalene, pray for us. St. Dominic, pray for us. St. Catherine of Siena, pray for us. St. Thomas Aquinas, pray for us. St. Anthony of Padua, pray for us. St. John Mary Vianney, pray for us. St. Padre Pio, pray for us. St. John Paul II, pray for us. Saints Jacinta and Francisco, pray for us. All you angels and saints of God, pray for us. We will now pray the rosary with the intention of making reparation to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O Lord, open my lips. O Lord, come to my assistance. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The first joyful mystery. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus.
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven especially those who are in most need of thy mercy. Our Father, the second joyful mystery, the Annunciation. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from you. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death, amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen.
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Save us from the fire of the hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those who most need mercy. The third joyful mystery the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The fourth joyful mystery, the presentation of Jesus in the temple. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen.
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven especially those in most need of thy mercy. The fifth joyful mystery, the finding of Jesus in the temple. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are in most need of thy mercy. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, hail our life, our sweetness, and our hope, to thee do we cry for a banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy toward us. And after this our exile, show us unto the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, Queen of the Most Holy Rosary, pray for us. O God, whose only begotten Son, 
by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the wards of eternal life. Grant, we beseech thee, that meditating upon these mysteries of the most holy rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we imitate what they contain, and obtain what they promise, through the same Christ our Lord, amen. May the divine assistance remain always with us. To fulfill Our Lady's request to spend 15 minutes reflecting on the mysteries of the Rosary, we invite you to meditate together immediately after Mass in front of the Blessed Sacrament. We will end with a blessing with the relics of Saint Bernadette, Saints Bernadette and Jude.
I just spoke with Father Augustine, um, a reminder that right after the Mass, there's a 15-minute adoration and meditation, and then a blessing with the relics, and then Father Augustine said he'd be available for confession for those of you who would like to go after that. and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, we celebrate today a beautiful Dominican saint, St. Catherine de Ricci, and we lift up our prayers through her intercession, as well as for our mother, Mary, on this first Saturday, to our God, who has mercy on us every person he has created. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who made the Virgin Saint Catherine outstanding for the contemplation of the passion of your Son, grant us through her intercession that reflecting devoutly on these same mysteries, we may come to attain their reward. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, 
who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, through Jesus, let us continually offer God a sacrifice of praise, that is, the fruit of lips that confess his name. Do not neglect to do good and to share what you have. God is pleased by sacrifices of that kind. Obey your leaders and defer to them for they keep watch over you and will have to give an account, that they may fulfill their task with joy and not with sorrow, for that would be of no advantage to you. May the God of peace, who brought up from the dead the great shepherd of the sheep by the blood of the eternal covenant, furnish you with all that is good, that you may do his will. May he carry out in you what is pleasing to him through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. The word of the Lord. I long to see
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. The apostles gathered together with Jesus and reported all they had done and taught. He said to them, Come away by yourselves to a deserted place and rest a while. People were coming and going in great numbers, and they had no opportunity even to eat. So they went off in the boat by themselves to a deserted place. People saw them leaving, and many came to know about it. They hastened there on foot from all the towns and arrived at the place before them. When Jesus disembarked and saw the vast crowd, his heart was moved with pity for them, for they were like sheep without a shepherd. And he began to teach them many things. The Gospel of the Lord. Our Novena Prayer. O Immaculate Virgin Mary, Mother of Mercy, you are the refuge of sinners, the health of the sick, and the comfort of the afflicted. You know my wants, my troubles, and my sufferings. By your appearance at the Grotto of Lourdes, you made it a privileged sanctuary where your favors are given to people streaming to it from the whole world. Over the years, countless sufferers have obtained the cure for their infirmities, whether of soul, mind, or body. Therefore, I come to you with St. Jude as my patron to implore your motherly intercession. Obtain, O loving mother, the grant of my requests. Through gratitude for your favors, I will endeavor to imitate your virtues that I may one day share in your glory. Amen. St. Jude, glorious apostle, faithful servant and friend of Jesus, the name of the traitor has caused you to be forgotten by many, but the church honors and invokes you universally as the patron of difficult and desperate cases. Pray for me who am in need of God's mercy. Make use, I implore you, of that particular privilege accorded to you, to bring visible and speedy help where help was almost despaired of. Come to my assistance in this great need, that I may receive the consolation and help of heaven in all my necessities, tribulations, and sufferings particularly. And that I may praise God with you and all the elect throughout all eternity. I promise you, O blessed Jude, to be ever mindful of this great favor. I will honor you as my special and powerful patron and encourage devotion to you. Saint Jude, pray for us and for all who honor and invoke thy aid. Amen. When Jesus disembarked and saw the vast crowd, his heart was moved with pity for them, for they were like sheep without a shepherd. 
and he began to teach them many things. As I said before, yesterday we begin with Pope St. John Paul II's encyclical, Salve Fici Dolores. The Divine Redeemer wishes to penetrate the soul of every sufferer through the heart of his Holy Mother, the first and the most exalted of all the redeemed. As though by a continuation of that motherhood, which by the power of the Holy Spirit had given Jesus life, the dying Christ conferred upon the ever-Virgin Mary a new kind of motherhood, spiritual and universal, towards all human beings, so that every individual during the pilgrimage of faith might remain together with her, closely united to him unto the cross, and so that every form of suffering, given fresh life by the power of this cross, should become no longer the weakness of man, but the power of God. Today, Saturday, first Saturday, we remember our mother, the Blessed Virgin Mary. Consider the courage it takes to be the mother of God. The angel spoke to Mary, do not be afraid. What kind of fear does the queen of heaven, the queen of angels, possess regarding the visit of an angel? It is not the fear of an angel, but the fear of God and his plan. This is too much for any human being to accomplish. It is too much for a human being to accomplish all that God wants for salvation. So she says, how can this be? How can God be encompassed in a womb? How can the author of eternal life itself enter our limited life? How can the beginning of all life and love begin again? How can love ever fruitful enter love without union? How can God bow down to a humanity that will not bow? But Mary hears that nothing is impossible for God. God's plan involves Elizabeth. This woman was past childbearing age. She was barren. What a hardship, what a burden. This plan involves Mary, a girl barely into childbearing age, betrothed but not married. She was too young, too inexperienced. She was a virgin. What a hardship, what a burden. What is not impossible does not mean that it is not a hardship and a burden. It is. And Mary said, let it be done to me according to your word. It is your word in which I can accomplish what seems impossible. In your words, not in my words, your will, not my will be done. And now Mary is on the move. She travels in haste to see her relative, Elizabeth, and to assist her, probably learning a thing or two about labor and the delivery of a child. There is so much to learn in so little time. Nine months can seem like an eternity. But is it really enough time to learn how to be the mother of God? She is on the move again to Bethlehem. 
And she, being the home of Jesus, now finds herself homeless. She will be like her son, who says, the Son of Man has no place to lay his head. Most of us see homelessness, especially in San Francisco, but the hardest homelessness is the homelessness of a family, the homeless newborn. And she is on the move again to bring Jesus to the temple for his presentation, 40 days after his birth. This could be a pleasant and joyous trip, an equivalent of our baptism. Everyone's there. Everyone's happy. And this is to celebrate the birth of a firstborn son. But this is not a happy occasion. This firstborn son is set for the fall and rise of many. He is a sign that will be spoken against. And Mary, a sword will pierce your heart. Prophecy is never easy. But when this prophecy, when has prophecy been about a 40-day-old baby? Why can't this wait? Isn't this a celebration? Simeon's eyes have seen the salvation of Israel, but Mary, her heart is going to be pierced. Her son will be a sign spoken against. Why does Jesus have to be both salvation and light, as well as destined for the fall and rise of many, spoken against? And Mary is on the move again. Joseph is warned about Herod's designs for the child, and they make their way to Egypt, a foreign land, a foreign way of life. What hardships for the mother of the Savior? Why is the Savior fleeing to the place that is the place of slavery? Why is he leaving the place, the place that is the place of salvation? How long will this be? So many unanswered questions. So many things unknown on this move. And then Mary is on the move again, going back to Israel and not sure about Herod's son, Archelaus. The former King Herod failed to get Jesus, and so he killed children to get at Jesus. Now, Jesus, Mary, and Joseph have moved just north of Judea in Galilee, but they don't know if Herod's son, Archelaus, will still be like his father and will do anything to get at Jesus. Mary is on the move again. She loses Jesus in the temple in Jerusalem. From one temple, her womb, to another temple, that of Jerusalem. Mary is preparing to give Jesus to the people of Israel the safety of her home with Joseph, that safety of the heart, is much different than the insecurity of a crowded temple. Teaching, trading, selling, mixing, talking, gossiping, singing, prophecy, Sacrifice. Fortunately, Jesus returns home, but only for a time. But then Jesus leaves, and he is on the move. He goes into ministry, 
and Mary is also on the move with him. She hears his teaching. She sees his miracles. She knows his followers, their strengths, their weaknesses. She serves his new family and is concerned about how he is received. She hears the gossip, the slander, the arguing, the prophecy about his suffering servant, by whose wounds we are healed, the one who is our ransom. She also hears about John the Baptist. And with Jesus, she doesn't need writing on the wall to know what will happen to him. What if there, what if I were there with the Blessed Virgin Mary? What do I see? Courage. What is courage? Mainly, courage is endurance. Most of the time when we think of courage, we think of a soldier going into battle. That is the courage that is about daring, accomplishing. But there is a courage which is much closer to home. And that is the courage of enduring. St. Thomas Aquinas tells us that courage is meant to moderate fear. Dangers already moderate fear. That means that soldier who goes into battle already has something that will help to moderate fear. But fear itself will not moderate itself. And fears will grow, and we will become anxious, and we will not know, and we will stop. The Blessed Virgin Mary is courage. She was on the move. She never stopped. She endured all difficulties because she loved. This is the courage that we need. This is the courage that we need facing fear. The fear of suffering, the fear of hardship, the fear of pain. In my very partial list of Mary's sufferings, we hear of many things that can cause fear. Remember, any one of those sufferings and hardships could have caused anyone to say no could have caused anyone to stop. What was different? Let's return to the Gospel today. The heart of Jesus was moved with pity for them, for they were like sheep without a shepherd. It is clear that we are weak, it is clear that we are fearful. But we have a very good God. And he has given us a very good mother. She is on the move. She is courageous. And she will help us in all of our hardships to be courageous. The final point of being on the move, I think we see right here and now. She came to be with us at Lourdes. She came to be with us at Fatima. 
she never stops. May Our Lady give us the courage to face fear and may this courage allow us always to love what is good. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Let us stand and present our prayers to our God and Father at this altar. For the conversion of Russia and the reunion of the Catholic Church and the Eastern Churches, let us pray to the Lord. That through the first Saturdays, many souls may be saved from the eternal suffering of hell. Let us pray to the Lord that the laws of the nations may be founded upon the natural law and that all nations may recognize the right to life from conception and freedom of religion. Let us pray to the Lord for the mothers and fathers of aborted children as well as those who have encouraged these acts. Let us pray to the Lord for blessings on all those who are participating in the Novena to Our Lady of Lourdes, and for all of the intentions we place at this altar, let us pray to the Lord. For the intentions of this Holy Mass, for the benefactors of those resting here, and for Andrea Lavada. Concepcion, the repose of the soul. We pray to the Lord. Amen. Loving God and Father, we lift up all of our prayers in love to you through Our Lady, and we ask you to hear us as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. We pray, O Lord, make us partakers of your sacrifice offered on the wood of the cross. For by contemplation of this sacred mystery, you made blessed Catherine your virgin glorious through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in the saints who consecrated themselves to Christ for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence, by which you call human nature back to its original holiness, and bring it to experience on this earth the gifts you promise in the new world to come. And so, with all the angels and saints, we praise you, as without end we acclaim. Sanctus, Sanctus, Sanctus Dominus Deus Sabaoth, Plenis und Celi. of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray, that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Salvatore our Bishop and all the clergy. 
Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
happiness lies in you. joining at a distance, an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Renewed by partaking of this divine offering, we pray, O Lord our God, that by the example of the blessed Catherine, bearing in our body the death of Jesus, we may strive to hold fast to you alone. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Today, the first Saturday, we will do the blessing with the relic of St. Jude, and then we will have our adoration time. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you. Father, Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended.
The 15-minute meditation will begin in a moment to complete the first Saturday in communal form. In harmony with the liturgical feast, we will now meditate on the fourth joyful mystery, the presentation of the child Jesus in the temple, beginning with Luke chapter 2, verse 22. O blessed mother, what does the scripture say? And when the time came for their purification according to the law of Moses, they brought him up to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord. For those who wish to gain any indulgences and prayers for the intentions of the Holy Father, we invite you to stay for an extra minute of prayer after adoration.
Let us make the intention to gain any indulgences granted by the Church for ourselves and the souls in purgatory. Let us pray for the intentions of the Holy Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou, most women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, without it. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.